multiplication, and repeated addition. An array is a group of objects arranged in rows and columns. Remember, the row goes side to side while the column goes up to down. This array has three rows and four columns. To find the number of objects in this array, we can add together the number of objects in each row. There are four objects plus four plus four, and that equals 12 objects. Hmm, we found the number of objects by adding four to itself three times, which means we used repeated addition. Is there another way to represent this situation? Instead of adding a number to itself many times, we can use a direct and short way called multiplication. Multiplication is an operation which can be used to represent repeated addition. When we multiply, we use this as a multiplication sign. Let's go back to our problem. Since we added 4 to itself 3 times, we can represent this as 3 multiplied by 4 or 3 times 4, which equals 12. 3 and 4 are called factors and this is the multiplication sign, and 12 is called the product. All together represent a multiplication number sentence. Notice that this sentence replaced the number sentence, 4 plus 4 plus 4. Let's try a few more examples. Notice in this example, we repeatedly add 6 to itself, and the number of repetitions is 5. So we can represent this sentence using multiplication as 5 times 6. What about 7 plus 7 plus 7? Did you say 3 times 7? If so, you're right. Here we have 9 added to itself 7 times. So we can write this as 7 times 9. Great! Let's summarize. We can use multiplication to replace repeated addition. In a multiplication sentence, the numbers we multiply are called factors, and the result of multiplication is called a product. In this lesson, you learned about multiplication and its relation to repeated addition.